everyone good morning welcome back i hope you can see me okay i am shooting on a different device this time this is a uh so my this is my wife's old cell phone and she gave it to me because it has a cracked screen but the camera is working fine and we decided to dedicate it to be my uh camera for now anyway Today is the third day I'm working on this server rack. As you can see, I deemed it complete, but it's not really complete. I have to still put two more drawers. And yesterday after I was done working on it, I took some measurements and I figured that my printer is not going to fit on it. And since I want my printer to fit on this thing so when it is time to move out all we need to do is just roll it out of here with the whole network plugged in and assembled all I need to do is disconnect data and main power so basically I need to make some mods on this and I think the easiest way to fix the problem and make my printer fit it's gonna be sitting on this top shelf and I'm gonna have to just cut the top part open. So obviously there are some changes I need to make. I need to remove this plank, remove the back plank, cut this top out so I can have the printer fit in there. So let's get to work. I will put you guys on some kind of a time lapse or something and have fun. See you later. Okay, 
so welcome back I decided to do a little tweak to my workspace because I woke up this morning not feeling great and I have for some reason severe sensitivity to light so I've decided to move into the garage and close that large door and now I'm able to film as well because well the light is pretty consistent so I can show you what I'm doing a lot better and I don't have to fight with my own vision all right let's flip the camera and I'll show you what I did so far so not much has changed except I've changed the roof on the rack you see my printer is 11 and a half inches tall and this thing ended at the height of less than that and now it's at 13 inches 13 and a half actually so the printer is going to fit right in there and if i pull it out i'll be able to fully open it and extend the top with no problem and this is also going to leave enough space if i wanted to put stuff in the back here i can because the printer is going to be about 15 inches so 15 or 16 so it leaves me about 10 inches in the back it is free to put stuff in and hopefully i'll be able to finish today because i'm planning to work on this thing until i'm done i cannot afford another day okay so the next thing i'm gonna do today is work on this until i'm done i'm going to pretty much finish it i got two more drawers that i need to weld together and once they're welded i'll be able to cut the pieces of wood that i need and i'll be done that's all i got left is weld the drawers together so i'll catch you guys on the next update and i'll show you what i did got one last drawer to cut the planks for and this thing is ready to be rolled into my bedroom and set up I don't think I'm setting this up today I don't feel good at all if I didn't have stuff to do tomorrow I would probably not finish today anyway yeah let's Get cooking on that last roar. The trick I found with these drawers is don't force anything and let it line up by itself. What do I mean? Well, I did it so far. I positioned everything. like that and then I made sure it's all the way to the back so the drawer actually rests and touches the back piece and rests on top of it on both sides 
and once it is in the railing on both sides I would take a measurement an internal measurement now this ends at 19 but I think I'm gonna cut it just a smidge before let's call it let's have 18 and 3 quarter That looks to me like a perfect fit, touching all corners, and that's good. And awesome. Okay. Put some screws in there. Call this project done. So server rack's finally done, and I'm completely beat. I'm tired. I'm so happy this project's done. I got a lot of more other things to do, but uh, this thing's done. It's not perfect. Some things are not exactly smooth. But that's okay, I'll put some lubricant and I'll deal with it with time and it's no big deal. But the bottom line is, I got a working server rack that I can utilize. I'm going to show you in a second what I did so far and how it looks like now. Okay, so this is the server rack complete. And of course minus the phone and the water bottle. This is how it looks like now. I had to remove the top so my printer would slide in and of course I can't open the scanner unless I slide the whole thing out but then that's not a big deal that's fine and as you can see all the drawers are now completely populated and the two top ones for the most part are good this one is a little bit tough but it seems to be doing better than the first few times so I guess it's becoming easier there you go full server rack complete I hope you guys enjoy it if you did enjoy it please like subscribe and share it helps the channel grow a lot thank you very much for watching have a beautiful day peace i'll see you next time